from a biology background. I essentially did all the sciences through school. Um, I was interested in computing, but my school never offered it. So I sort of just followed my passion for biology. I started doing a bit of coding, uh, did some Python, did some R, so some statistical analysis. And then I did a project um, for my dissertation around mapping uh, virus spread through the airline networks in a global pandemic. Basically programmed that using Python and realized I actually preferred the Python and the programming to the biology. Uh, so completely switched tack, graduated and started at IBM uh, as a developer advocate. And that's pretty much where I've stayed until now. Yeah, you'll find a lot of my talks kind of I try and bring biology in wherever I can because I tend to translate anything I learn in software into something I understand in the natural world or, or in biology. Reactive is such a sort of paradigmal shift in the way we have to architect our applications. It can really help having something physical to map it to that, you know, bees are such a universal uh, sort of creature that most people have met at some point or at least know about or seen. Bees are these amazing creatures that are able to act as individual beings and have sort of their own mind and yet work together as a whole and communicate effectively. And that's exactly what we want microservices to do. They work together and they communicate efficiently to essentially form our application. So that's sort of how I link bees in with microservices. And then I sort of talk about in my talk some of the specific behaviors that bees show that uh, we want in our reactive applications.